Hello, my name is Chris Zerbrig, and I would like to welcome you to this series on the Maya Python API. The Maya API is arguably one of Maya's greatest features, allowing users to extend its functionality by creating plugins. Thousands of plugins have been written over the years by pipeline developers and TDs to meet the specific needs of a production. Numerous open source plugins have been released to the public by savvy programmers who have found a solution to common and not so common problems. And commercial plugins have been available for almost as long as Maya itself. Some examples of plugins you may be familiar with include Arnold, V-Ray, and RenderMan. There's also Maya's modeling toolkit, which was derived from Digital Raster's Next plugin, MASH, a procedural animation toolkit originally created by Mainframe North. There's Massive and My Army for crowd simulations, and many, many more. For much of this course, I will be using the Charcoal Editor 2 plugin, which replaces Maya's native script editor. This is a tool I originally created out of sheer frustration with the built in script editor. And thanks to the Maya API, I had the necessary access to Maya's internals to build it. So as you can see, there are few limits as to what can be accomplished using the Maya API. In many ways, projects are only bounded by one's imagination and the time required to implement, which can always be a major factor. That being said, the low-level access to Maya's internals does come at a cost in the form of complexity. If you have only created scripts using Maya commands, the Maya API does come with a significantly steeper learning curve and requires a solid understanding of Maya's underlying architecture. In an effort to ease the learning curve, this course will take a pragmatic approach to teaching the Maya API by first establishing a strong foundation with the basics of the Maya API and a solid understanding of Maya's node-based architecture. Later lessons can then focus in more detail on complex and specialized subjects. And by using the Python API, many of the complexities related to the C++ programming language are eliminated. Now this is an intermediate level course, and as such, it is assumed viewers are familiar with Python coding, that they have an understanding of Maya workflows, and are comfortable scripting with Maya commands. Having said that, let's get started.